Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is February 23rd, 2022. It is about 1030 in the morning. A bit of a chilly morning and uh, breezy. We got the Santa Ana winds kicking up and clearing out the skies. I am here today in, again, in Los Angeles, uh, downtown at MacArthur Park. The newly re-re-renovated, re-re? Or is it re-re-re? I think it's re-re. Anyway, the re-renovated MacArthur Park. Uh, the very beautiful MacArthur Park. Now, this, I don't know exactly how much, but uh, I'll put all the information down. But let's look around. That over there, first of all, is the other half to MacArthur Park. I believe that is also on the slate to be fixed up and done. Not sure exactly when the timeline is. There is still some fencing around the park. Uh, actually, I just got wind of it yesterday on the evening news that they had um, opened up the park. First of all, as any homeowner knows, this is almost the expensive part of having a house. There's always the greenery, and this lawn is that beautiful kind of lawn that you just want to lay down, also plush, and have a summer day. They replaced all. They re Reoiled all the walkways. Uh, looks like new benches. All the lawn, all the sodding has been redone. The greenery has definitely been reduced. Can't blame them, especially now in these drought conditions. I gotta tell you though, it, it looks beautiful. It looks uh, not quite when I was a kid. But nonetheless, it is beautiful. And they fixed the subway too, didn't they? Oh, they did, okay. Well, there's not so much bird and duck poop on the on the loading dock here. Yeah, you know, there's, is it open? No, I didn't think they would. Wow, it just, wow, it is beautiful, I gotta tell you, even the fountain, it's not spewing brown, that fountain right there, for many, many, many a year, all you saw was brown, and that's clean now, what, what, you wanna join me for dinner? Get a little waterfall. Um, normally there would be a lot of homeless. I mean, ordinarily prior, before all this change happened, you could still see some of the chain link fence around the perimeter. That's slowly coming down all around there. Actually, it hasn't come down up until right about there. And then further on to the, to the back entrance. But uh, they're not as much of a hurry to do that. Yes, please do not feed the geese and the seagulls or the ducks. So, the lake water is lake water. But... Wow, it is. It is beautiful. Holy moly. And on this bright, beautiful day, well, look at this, already. Ducky poop. Crazy out there. Let's see what else. I like the way they just, look, it's all kind of symmetrical. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Holy moly. I know a lot of folks, and I've said this, I've commented on this. You guys have so many parks. Well, uh, 
Uh, you need parks. You need parks. And 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 my easiest way to 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 show you the main things that you need is emergency services, schools, and above anything else, parks. And if you ever played a building game, actually, namely, Sim City, um, it's important to have parks for the sanity of folks. They just need something other than the concrete. Hey, there's a couple of honkers right there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you want in on it? I don't have anything for you. Uh, no mate? No lady? I understand. Wow, this is just so beautiful. That's a California shot. All in all, it's it's beautiful. I mean, it is really beautiful. Is that one open? Is the other subway? That's what we here in Los Angeles we call subways, the original subways, uh, pedestrian subways. They used to be all throughout the whole city. Uh, I mean, LA had solved it a long time ago. Instead of creating uh, catwalks to bypass traffic and everything kind of like what Las Vegas has done uh, we had subways underground passages connecting from one side of the street to the next but as time went on they became a little questionable <clears throat> a lot of opportunities for unsavory people uh, people started especially in the 70s uh, homelessness started kind of taking in there, doing drugs, drinking. Uh, usually, it was the number one place to go find a, a nice, quiet, secret place to shoot up heroin. All over Los Angeles, we had pretty much all these subways. They were called subways. And uh, potentially also a lot of uh, problems with uh, getting mugged and getting raped and things like that. So time I think they started closing them up during the early 80s sometimes like that I mean they still exist you know they haven't been filled in or anything you know they still they get kind of torn up if they had to redo a street but they still exist if you look at them you kind of look at them and you'll see holy cow I'm I am just totally amazed by this Normally, and I do say normally, this whole area right here, this whole section right here, this is uh, Alvarado. And this is where all the, the vendors are. This is where you come to get all your, I mean, a jar of Taster's Choice, any of the three uh, blends, like $10. I think they're like $15, $16 in the supermarket, at least they're they are over here but ordinarily you would find a lot of homeless folks spread out and some Christian faith uh, groups over here helping them out a lot of food and other necessities this also comes in kind of a timing because people are already throwing their hats in the rings for uh, local authorities and local government seats and mayor namely 
Some folks have already thrown their hats in the ring. Uh, Rick Caruso is the first one to actually come out boldly with ads and cover the uh, airtime with his ads. Uh, kind of figured, you know, the economy and homelessness were the two main factors that, that were going to be covered. And I knew this. My main concern was with uh, homelessness. And uh, you actually have to read between the lines or hear what they're saying when they talk about homelessness. Solving homelessness, well, you honestly, you really can't solve homelessness. I mean, historically, you've never been able to get rid of homelessness. You can reduce it greatly, but you can't solve it. So when someone says solving homelessness, right off the bat I just yeah you're not gonna definitely get any consideration because you're talking about a pipe dream something that you're speaking like the president did during his election and look where we are I mean it's as simple as that Rick Caruso says he hasn't said that but he said fixing Unless I'm mistaken, I believe this whole area right here was fenced off. And it was just dominantly taken over by the birds at one point. Wow, that's... Is that new? God, it, it, it just looks so... It looks so different. It's hard to distinguish what was here and what was created. No, I think that's been here. Uh, they had... I think the boat rental is over here or over here. I'm not sure. Uh, don't know if they're going to bring them back or not. It'd be nice if they if they could, because actually it's gr it's great to take a paddle boat out and uh, just go on the lake and you know, especially a, a romantic thing after dinner. And then we have this little lazy honker. Oh, what? What? I'm just checking you out there, madam, sir, 